All right, dudes, here it is. We got a lot of requests for this one. It's gonna be the three easy tips to building that bigger back, or in the buff dude's case, posterior shield. So the wait is over. Let's get started. Tip number one is gonna be shoulder movement. Now, what I'm talking about here is contracting the shoulder back to really get contraction in the actual lats rather than just doing arm movements. So what you wanna do is make sure you're pulling that shoulder back. So you're contracting those muscles in the upper back, the traps, the rhomboids, the lats. You're gonna contract that shoulder first and then follow through with the arm, pulling your elbow up, getting that nice contraction in the lats and then release that shoulder and bring it down to bottom stretch position. And this goes in line with pull-ups as well. You always wanna contract that shoulders down and back to properly involve all the muscles that you should be to help develop that back properly. Make sure you're not just doing arm pulls, which is really just gonna work the biceps and you're not gonna feel anything in the back itself. So remember dudes, contract those shoulders back and get the full activation in those lats. Tip number two, it's gonna be elbow placement or the differences between elbow placement. So let's say for instance, you're gonna do a close grip row, which your elbows are coming, tracking right in line with the body and close to the body. So you're doing a seated close grip row, bringing those elbows nice and tight to the body. You can be working a little bit more on those lats in general, but let's say you're doing a wide grip row and the elbows are flaring out side the body, you're gonna be incorporating a little bit more of the upper back muscles. So what you gotta do is make sure you hit all those angles. Incorporate exercises which do close grip rows or having the elbow run a little bit tighter to the body and then also incorporate a little bit wider grip rows so that way those elbows are flaring out and you're getting the full benefit of the exercises with the upper back and also the lats too. Eccentric contraction. What is it? Well, it's gonna be the negative portion of the lift. So let's say for instance, you're doing a pull up, you contract all the proper muscles, bringing those shoulders down and back, elbows in the back pocket, up to the top position, chin above the bar, but then you just let gravity take over and your body drops down to the bottom position. You're only really getting half of the exercise. Because let's just say you're doing a bent over row now and you're bringing it up, contracting those lats and then just letting it drop. So what you wanna do is contract it up and then contract it back down. So that is the concentric contraction or the positive of the lift bringing it up. But we're talking about the eccentric contraction which is the negative on the way down. So your muscles are actually having to contract to bring you down to the bottom position. So remember that dudes because that's really gonna help you out building that massive amounts of muscle and becoming buff. So you get that positive portion of the lift and you also get the negative portion or the eccentric contraction. So don't forget that word because it's definitely gonna come in handy. All right, dudes, that wraps up the three easy tips for building that posterior shield. Really try to include these tips in your back workouts because they're definitely gonna take you to the next level. Because if not, you might just be held back. All right, dudes, thanks for all the comments and questions and also the suggestions. We really appreciate that. And be sure to check out our other three easy tip videos.